Hey everybody, Mike Fisk here with another word of encouragement for you from God's Word. Today's verse is a verse that may be very familiar to you if you're a church person, and that comes from the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, which says, Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and He will give you everything you need. You know, there's really only two kingdoms in the world. One is the kingdom of God, and one is the kingdom of Satan, our enemy. Uh, And you may already know that, but sometimes it's important for us to be reminded of that. The kingdom of God is a kingdom of light. It's a kingdom of love. It's a kingdom of forgiveness and acceptance. It's a kingdom of unity. The kingdom of Satan is a kingdom of darkness, a kingdom of hatred, a kingdom of anger, a kingdom of violence. And and nowadays we see so much of that. Uh, And what we need to realize is we're not fighting a battle right now a political battle. We're not fighting a battle against a pandemic. Uh, We're fighting a battle between the forces of light and the forces of darkness. Uh, And uh, within each of us, we need to make a decision on which kingdom we're going to listen to. Our passions and our emotions scream at us that we need to take control of things. We need to do things on our own because nobody else is going to help us. We are responsible for our own destiny. The kingdom of, and, and those voices are the kingdom of the enemy. They're, that's uh, Satan's ploy, Satan's attempt at trying to defeat us. The kingdom of God is completely different and it doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense to the human mind. When the human mind is screaming out that we're in charge of our own destiny, God's kingdom says, give it all up. Give it all up, just trust me. And uh, that's so hard to do. Uh, It doesn't seem logical, but the more I give up, the more I gain. Because in God's kingdom, less is definitely more. And so I think what he's calling each of us to do as uh, believers in Jesus is just to give up. Just to give up. Let him have control. Seek his kingdom. Because the more we seek his kingdom, the more we align our lives with what Jesus would say and Jesus would do, then the more uh, our desires become his desires. He wants to provide for us. And once we turn our lives over to Him and live more and more closely to Him, then uh, our emotional and our spiritual lives, uh, we gain a contentment. And once we have that contentment, uh, our our vision of the the physical around us uh, doesn't become as important as the spiritual. So my encouragement for you today is that we align ourselves with God. Just remember He's in control. Uh, Seek His kingdom more and more. That doesn't mean we totally ignore what's going around us, but we seek His kingdom, and then He will give us the desires of our heart, which then become the desires of His heart. Thanks for stopping in. Have a great day.